Today at the New York Auto Show, Hyundai brought out the new Kona. This is definitely a big change for Hyundai's smaller crossover. This is not their smallest. We actually have the venue in the United States still, and that's why the Kona has grown in this generation. It also has become much more distinctive. You see we get this large horizontal LED stripe up front, very striking look there. And in the regular Kona, it has a very aerodynamic front end design. Active grille shutters up in this area, actual grille shutters there. They've tried to harmonize the looks of the various Konas a little bit more with one another. This is the regular model. It looks a little bit more like the EV version of the Kona. We get LED headlights down here. And if you'd like a bit of a sportier vibe, we have the Kona N line. You can bet that there's probably going to be a Kona N also at some point. Active grille shutters up here as well, some additional cooling on top, and then that same lower grille right there with a different texture to it. Same LED stripe and same LED headlights. Now the big change for this generation of Kona is that it has grown significantly over the previous generation. It's about six inches longer, and that really gives us a lot more interior room than we had in the past. You'll notice that most in the back seat, but it looks like the front seats gain a little bit of room as well. Let me know what you think of the design. This certainly has some of the lines that we saw in the Hyundai Elantra with this parametric shaping going on right there. A lot of angles and sculpting on the side. Coming around to the rear, we have this big wing on the back. It's actually two wings. You can see over here, we get one wing over here on this side. We then get a stoplight right in the middle, and then we get another wing next to it. It definitely gives us a bit of a different vibe than the regular Kona, which is right over there. I'll let you zoom in and out on that one. Mimicking the style from the front, we have a red LED bar that spans the entire stretch of the rear. Kona embossed there on the rear hatch. This is still a manual hatch. Pop it open here and we find a slightly larger cargo area than we found in the Kona before. That's where some of the extra length goes. There's actually even some additional storage space right there under the load floor and we find a spare tire under there as well. And the same sort of dual height load floor we've seen other Hyundai products for a while. If you ever thought that the Kona was just a little bit too small, you might want to give the Kona a second chance because this is now going to be on the larger side of the subcompact crossover segment. And again, that's rational because if you want something that's smaller and easier to park, we have the Hyundai Venue. If you want something with a turbocharged engine like this N-Line and of course all-wheel drive, then you want the Kona. On the inside, we see some pretty big changes. Stylistically, they have borrowed some elements from the Ionic 5, this two-screen setup over here, also a fabric section on the other side of the driver. You'll find physical controls for the climate control and infotainment system here. I like that. I like that they've retained all the buttons. They've even added some that they had taken away in other models. This is the end line trim, so we have the red stripe running right across the dashboard. Over here on the passenger side, we have a small amount of storage space there, another red stripe. Seemingly a decent bin style glove compartment right there. Over in the center, we have two USB ports. One is the interface for the system. One appears to just be a charge port. And in a move that we've seen from other Hyundais and Kias, you can actually choose what this USB port is doing, whether it's charge only or whether it interfaces with the system. Not entirely clear why I need that. Down here, we have heated and ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, a rotating knob for the drive mode, and then a button to lock. Over here, we have lots of storage in the center. This section is divided, so that way you can retract the cup holder swirls there. And then we have a reasonable amount of storage space in the center of everything, but you notice it doesn't completely block itself off. You can always get through there. The steering wheel design, that is a big departure for Hyundai. You'll notice that we have the four dots right there on the steering wheel cover, something that we first saw in the Ionic lineup. It looks like that's going to move to the rest of the line. We have a pretty nice steering wheel. It's not a flat bottom design, but it has lots of sport grippy angles. Same sort of button arrangements that we've seen in other Hyundai models, but different buttons, paddle shifters right there on the back. And another thing borrowed from the Ionic line, we have a shifter on the column rather than something that takes up some center console space. So it's a kind of a Mercedes like shifter. You rotate the knob around for drive and reverse and then park as a button at the end. If you want to get your hands on the new Kona or the new Kona EV, reach out to your Hyundai dealer now. These should be on dealer showroom floors over the next few months. Hopefully I will be driving one before the end of the summer. I'm really excited to see how this does in the market because I love the interior and I love the fact that it has grown. The Kona was a little bit tight in the back. That's what a lot of customers had said, which is why they have made this significantly larger than the previous generation. This seems to be larger inside and certainly more premium up front than we find in the Toyota Corolla Cross. But there is no hybrid version of the Kona, at least not yet, but there is the full electric version in the United States if you want to save on gas. I really love the fact that this has grown inside because the Honda HRV, it's not as big as it once was in terms of real world dimensions, even though it has grown on the outside. And this looks like it's going to give both of those big players a decent run for their money. Be sure and hit that subscribe button so you can be updated on all of my latest videos, including a full video of this as soon as I can get my hands on it to drive. See all of you later.